All right, folks, we will be in New Orleans this weekend for the 48th annual Bayou Classic, partnered with Coca-Cola, streaming various events uh, on Friday and Saturday, including the Coach's Luncheon. Uh, then, of course, they have a small business event happening the, at, at the Hyde Regency. Then, of course, you have uh, uh, what was happening on Saturday. We'll be broadcasting live from the fan zone outside of the Superdome. And we will be live streaming the halftime show. I know a lot of y'all know a lot of y'all complain uh, about not being able to see the halftime show because the networks don't show it. Don't worry, we got y'all covered on the Black Star Network. Uh, and it's going to again, the 48th annual Bayou Classic. Returning to New Orleans didn't take place last year because of COVID, uh, but Grambling State University, Southern University, they are back on the field. Trust me, New Orleans is happy about them uh, coming to the newly renovated uh, Caesar Superdome on Saturday uh, because, again, uh, when those two schools meet, uh, it represents a huge, huge uh, economic boon to the city. And so you got the Battle of the Bands, you got all the fans, as well as Battle of Interim Head Coaches. Joining us right now, presidents of both schools, Dr. Rick Gallup from Gallup, Graham State University. Uh, I tolerated here, Kappa. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, and Dr. Ray Belton from Southern University. Uh, glad to have both of you here. Uh, all right, so uh, how are your alumni and your fans feeling about uh, the game actually being back after uh, not having it in 2020. I'll start with you, uh, Dr. Belton. Well, first of all, uh, Roland, uh, greetings from Southern University and AM and College. I, I have the, uh, uh, a moment ago, I saw your intro, uh, and it is uh, very reflective of the Bayou Classic. Everyone is simply excited about uh, the Bayou Classic coming back home in, in, in New Orleans. And it's nothing like the Bayou Classic uh, in, in New Orleans. And so, look, we are, our alums are, are, are just waiting for the moment. You know, the festivities have already started, quite frankly. And, and we're looking forward, you know, to uh, getting down there uh, in the next couple of days and, and really reflecting uh, on HBCUs generally uh, and the uh, HBCU experience. Uh, Rick, are you already there uh, There in New Orleans? I was there yesterday, Roland, and I'm actually on my way back home. I had some meetings in Baton Rouge today, so I'm coming to you live from the backseat of my Ford Expedition. So my, <laughs> my apologies for the, uh, for the poor... Uh, it's uh, all video. good. It's uh, all good. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, we're, we're uh, uh, headed back uh, to North Louisiana, we'll get the family, and we'll, we'll go back down to New Orleans on uh, Thanksgiving Day. We'll, we'll squeeze in the uh, Saints game, and then, of course, uh, Friday morning, we'll, we'll kick off. I certainly want to thank my, uh, my friend, my frat brother, my colleague, uh, Dr. Belton, for uh, just you know, being such an amazing leader of, of Southern University and uh, being such a great partner over these last uh, five years uh, in all things uh, Bayou Classic and all things HBCU. So I certainly tip my hat to, uh, to my friend for, uh, for showing us the way and, again, for just being an amazing leader among leaders. Must have had enough foresight to have two cappers on so I'm certainly glad uh, I <laughs> wore the right. appropriate attire uh, on today's show. Uh, I'm sure glad that happened. Um, uh, now, now, explain to folks really uh, who don't understand this game because uh, the game is actually, you know, controlled by both universities. Typically, when you have these games, there's, there's sort of an external group that invites uh, the schools in. Uh, but, but this game is really... Uh, the, the, all everything around it is, is controlled uh, by both institutions. Well, I don't know that we have time to go through all the intricacies of it, but uh, certainly our, our respective foundations play a role in uh, the, the promotions of the game, as well as uh, NOCCI, uh, which is the event manager for uh, for the event. So uh, it is a, a, a series of partnerships, but ultimately, uh, you know, leading back to the two schools. And again, this is the 48th. Uh, installment of the of the Bayou Classic, and we're just really excited uh, that we've been able to continue this tradition, even with the little blip on the radar with the COVID uh, uh, you know season. We we certainly are excited to get back to New Orleans, as as Dr. Belton uh, previously said. Doc, yeah, I mean it, it really is Southern University and Groundlands Foundation. Uh, we uh, ultimately establish a contract. Uh, for a management group to help facilitate it. Uh, but uh, we have ultimate uh, responsibility and authority 
uh, to uh, manage those type of relationships. And, and over the last few years, it has really worked wonderfully for, for both institutions uh, in terms of the resources that we ultimately benefit from uh, as a result of the uh, gain. You know, uh, both Rick and I, uh, we are often asked uh, about, you know, who's going to win the game. And, 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 and I think both of, us, both of us would say we are already have won uh, in light of uh, the financial rewards that both institutions receive, you know, as a result uh, of uh, engaging in uh, this, fest this week of festivities. Uh, now, um, it's more than just the game. It's more than just Step Show and Battle of the Bands. Uh, so there are a plethora of events that actually take place. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, it includes, you know, career fairs, uh, business expos, parades, uh, Greek shows. You know, we really have the opportunity to uh, highlight, you know, our students uh, by way of their pageantry and their competitions. Um, again, a parade uh, in the uh, city of, of, of uh, uh, New Orleans. We have uh, the occasion to network with le legislators in light of the fact that they provide a symposium, you know, during the week, particularly uh, the Black Caucus uh, of the state of Louisiana. Uh, and of course, you know, just, you know, the opportunity to embrace our alums across the country who uh, make this a, a pyramid, you know, uh, every year. Uh, and, 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 and really, like I said, it really helps us to kind of define, you know, the, the uh, HBCU experience. And, and, and we're all family until Saturday. And then after that, we are family once again. <laughs> uh, understand. We're still family. We're still family, Doc. You know, we, we're still family, no, no matter what. Because one thing about it, the, the more of our cousins who show up uh, to the family reunion, uh, the, the, the more resources we have to, uh, to take back to our respective campuses. And, and that, that's, you know, that's one of the things, uh, Roland, that I think sometimes uh, folks forget about. Uh, and that is the fact that, that we are there to uh, operate a, a business model that, again, is, is 48 years old. And at the uh, end of the festivities, we want to be able to bring resources back to Grambling State University and to Southern University. And so, you know, we, we always encourage our, our fans to uh, not look for the free tickets, uh, that, that they should should buy tickets to support right. uh, our students. Because at, at the end of the day, that is really what it is all about, is that we, we go through this each year so that we're able to uh, to bring resources to, to benefit and support our students. So I, I appreciate you giving us this platform uh, to promote and talk about the, the Bayou Classic, but go to Ticketmaster and buy your tickets. Uh, don't don't call Dr. Belton or me asking for some free ones. Uh, go to Ticketmaster and buy your tickets and come support the students at Grambling. And That's right, right. Don't don't bug folks asking for the hookup uh, in, in doing that. Uh, now, 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 Dr. Belton, I got to tell you, um, you know, look, I, I, I didn't go to neither school. I went to Texas A&M, so I have no dog in this hunt. I've actually spoken uh, to, the, to, to the alumni. Uh, well, I did the alumni at Southern, and I spoke on campus. I spoke uh, on the campus of Grambling and did a commencement. But I got I to gotta tell you, Doc, um, you know, Grambling, Grambling got y'all beat because, you know, when... When, when Rick came on my TV One show, he presented me with a, with a uh, Grambling uh, honorary drum major jacket. When I went to the campus, they gave me a track suit I had it on yesterday, and I was trying to wear some Southern University gear. Hey, dog, I ain't got well, none. So I just want, so don't, I want all y'all Southern people, don't get mad at me. <laughs> well, look, Rick is an exceptional leader, and, uh, you know, his, uh, uh, the degree to which he embraced you, Roland, uh, really speaks to that. But let me let me say this to you: when you when you get to New Orleans, we should have something for you. So I'm, I want to make sure that you are uh, you are representing uh, uh, Southern University uh, and Grambling, for that matter. Uh, but but certainly we will. Um, I will make a point uh, to have something for you uh, in a very tasteful manner. Uh, such that you could truly uh, have an appreciation 
of the Jaguar Nation uh, this weekend. I, I, just, I just want to make sure I don't need, because back back, one of your Southern people sent me a text message. I saw your Grambling stuff. I said, mm-mm, Grambling took care of their business. Don't be getting mad at me. I right. said, don't be getting mad at me, because I, oh, I only wear HBCU gear on my show that I have, where I've spoken at. So I've had a few HBCUs hit me up. Why are you not wearing our stuff? I said, because y'all ain't never invited me. So right. that's that's so, how we do it. Right. Isn't that well, we did have the occasion uh, to host you for that alumni federation. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, the alumni I, did. Well received. And I spoke on campus. Rick, go ahead. That's right. No, I was just going to say, isn't this just like a family reunion where you got the favorite uncle and, uh, you know, <laughs> there, there's always some, something that we can uh, we can spar about a little bit. Uh, and that that's what family is all about. Hey, that That is what fa- And look, I'm thankful for Southern University and for Grambling State University and all HBCUs to have the platform and the opportunity to even uh, spar like this. So it, it's all it's all HBCU love. Man. And it's all good. Uh, and if y'all want to see uh, a graduation turned out, just go on YouTube and see when I spoke at Grambling. <laughs> I'm just wow. saying, and it, ever since I did that, other folk been following behind the brother. So I'm just saying that that's how I we did you. it. So I got you. we're looking forward to it. Uh, I will be there Friday morning. We'll be live streaming the coaches' luncheon uh, uh, on on Friday as well, and other events happening on Friday and Saturday in partnership with Coca Cola. So, uh, gentlemen, we look forward to it, uh, and uh, let's have a great game. And I'm not go- I'm not even gonna ask y'all who's gonna win because uh, I take it y'all are a, a wee bit biased. Right. We all win. We all win. There you go. But as Rick said, buy a ticket. <laughs> right. Buy right. a ticket. Look for the hookup. Yeah, That's right. 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 Now, you can get the hookup by buying a ticket. By buying a right. ticket. There you, you go. You got it. You got it. Gentlemen, thank I appreciate right. it. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you, Roland. Uh, thank you, Dr. Belton. Appreciate you, my brother. All right, Rick. Y'all take right. care. See you in New right. Orleans. Take care okay, now. thanks. All right, folks. Back to our my uncultured video in just one moment. Once upon a time, there lived a princess with really long hair who was waiting for a prince to come save her. But really, who has time for that? Let's go. Fill myself. I'm fill she ordered herself a ladder with Prime one day delivery, and she was out of there. Now, her hairdressing empire is killing it. And the prince, well, who cares? Prime changed everything. This weekend for the Bayou Classic, broadcasting live in partnership with Coca-Cola, Friday and Saturday. You do not want to miss it. Uh, so Black Star Network will be on the scene. That's right, covering the coaches' luncheon on Friday. We'll be broadcasting Friday night. Then, of course, uh, we'll be broadcasting from the Fan Zone. Uh, there's a parade Saturday morning, broadcasting that. Plus, from the Fan Zone, in addition... We'll be broadcasting the halftime. That's right, y'all. Don't worry about the rest of these folk. Don't worry about it. NBC doesn't show it. We'll be showing you the halftime show right here on the Black Star Network.